Yeah. We can take a temperature. Yes. So Tammy has a digital thermometer. Okay. I'm going to come around this way here. Okay. And you stick it in her rear yes. quite a long ways. It's in there a good inch. If you get it, don't get it in far enough. Okay. She kind of okay. doesn't like it particularly. Mm -hmm. If you don't get it in far enough, you'll get a low it's, reading. Temperature's gone back up. Okay, what's temperature now? <laughs> 144. Okay, so temperature's gone back up. Yeah. Now, this is another thing. You can miss the temperature drop where the temperature yeah. goes down and goes back up. So yeah. we may be past the temperature drop. All right. Yeah. Okay, so now it's time to pull blood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Getting ready to pull blood. So what do we need? We need a one mil syringe. Big syringes pull the blood too fast and you can get what's called hemolization of the blood and it doesn't, it, it's not good. So you want to use a small syringe, it makes it much easier. An 18 gauge needle, make sure it's securely on there. Then we sell tourniquets, but of course, luck have it, I can't find my tourniquet. I think our daughter Chanel has it. So I'm just going to do a couple of elastic bands to make a tourniquet up. Then some um, isopropyl alcohol, about 70%, 90%, doesn't matter. But just so we can sterilize the area where we're going to stick her. Um, and then you really, it's easy if you've got somebody to help you. You can do it by yourself if you've done it a lot, but it's certainly much easier if you uh, um, have someone to help you. All right, so I'm going to tie this together and see if I can. Have Tammy hold that phone for a second, will you, Tammy? So we're going to make a tourniquet, I mean, a tourniquet here. Okay. Okay, good. Right. Where's your, so, where's your, where's there you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. All right. So we can tie a knot on this. I'm going to tie another knot and it'll make sense here in a moment. It's just an easy way to do a tourniquet. Do one more knot. You keep on moving and I lose Sorry. it. Sorry. Nothing magic about this. There we go. Two elastic bands and a nice knot in the middle. All right. Now we're going to get, we're going to get her out. Okay. I'm going to grab her. Hang on. Mm. Chair. Yep. Else all right. Come here, sweetheart. Got a new so we are going to take blood out of her forearm. I know. Uh, just below the uh, elbow, front leg. I like to do it on the left leg because I'm right-handed, but either one's fine. And this is the way I always like to carry okay. my mama's. That's a good point. So you see what she's doing here? She's not putting pressure on the belly. Her chest, and I've got my arm under here. Yes. Her little bottom's dirty. Yeah. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> yep. That's right. That's the way I like to carry her when they're big and pregnant. Okay. Okay. So I'm, I'm just going to do this. For, I'm going to have, I'm just I'm not going to have you help. I'm just going to have you hold this. I'm going to do okay. this Okay. Let me myself. fix her leg. She has her legs spread out real far. There. Get comfortable. All right. Get comfortable, baby. So be careful about dogs up in the air. Don't want falling off stuff. Yeah. So we should really be, you know, on a, yeah. this is all right. Okay. okay. I want you to hold this button. Just like that. You can just come around here. I've got her. I've got her. I'll do all this myself. Well, I want you getting get close to her. I don't want you. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we want to put the tourniquet right here. So this is what we do. Take that knot. And the reason I do it this way is it's so easy to remove. It's removed that easy. That's why I like this technique. So it's one hand operator. So I put this on here, grab it, the knot through there, and there I go. Above her little elbow. Above her elbow. Right. Then we're going to wet down the area that we're going to stick her. And it's easier if you shave this. There it is, right there. It's hard for you to see it, but I can tell you by feel. So here we go. Go in obliquely with the, with the bevel up. It's right, it's easier if you have somebody to hold it, but we're just gonna stick it like this. And there we go. Now, I've done so many of these. You need about half a cc. I've got a lot more than I need there. Pull that. Put your finger on it. Give me that napkin. Put pressure. Yeah. Tell me to hold that. Did you get to see that all the time? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. So I made that look easy. If you haven't done it before, I promise you, you'll have some sweat doing it a few times, but you won't hurt your dog doing it. See if it's doubling. It there didn't it is. Bleed. There it is. Look at that. Yeah. No, not in any yeah. blood there at all. Good. Worked beautifully. So she can okay. go back in the cage. Yeah. Yes, honey. Okay. Pretty easy. Okay. okay, so now we're going to take this, the whole blood, and we're going to run a test. So I need a container, which I don't have set up. So I'm just going to pause this for a second. Right, you just saw us pulling the blood. Here it is. The guard cap on the syringe is a useful place to put the blood in. So I'm just going a to put useful the... useful tool. Yeah, you get about half a cc in a, in a cap. There it is right there. 
that's more than enough to do this test. Now you can spin this down on a centrifuge using that too. Some of them have a hole in the bottom. If they do, that's not going to work because it'll all leak out. All right. Always blow in it before you use it. See yeah, if you that's right. Suck out. on the end of it. Make sure you can't get air going through it. Right. right. So here's here's our our uh, auto prepare. There's three two positions on it. Halfway down, all the way down. You can see there's a definite difference. You can feel that everything's done on the halfway position. So we go halfway down, go into the blood, let it go. And it'll come up, there's two lines there, and it'll come up to the first line, I'll do it again. Let's get this one more time. Halfway in, all the way down, let it go. And you can see it comes to the same place every time. That then, I wanna make a mess here. This comes with some fluid in it. You get one of these for every test that you run, you throw it away afterwards. We put this blood into this. Let's see your hands in the way. And then, I'm, you, I'm like you see my finger going up, and, see my finger yeah. up and down? You're but sucking I'm, it in and out of I'm the, sucking it in and yeah. out. I'm really mixing it up well. Really mix it up well. Again, it's just really thoroughly mixing it up well. So there we go. All right, so now, same technique as before. Go the halfway position on the auto pipette. Halfway position into the, into the mix. Let it go. And it'll come up to the same place as before. That's what I'm going to cut. I'm going to close that up. That then goes to the window. Hang on, I can see him. See it? Yeah. Goes into the window. Just take your time, take it down the spill over, like that. And once you've done that, don't hang around. I mean, you can hang around for 20 seconds, but now it goes into the machine. The dimple side is where your hand goes. Follow me. Goes into the machine. We want to have this set up for standard test. So there's two choices, quick test and standard. We do a standard test, and then we hit start test. The lights are in the way. Yes, okay. that's fine. And uh, now what's going to happen is 50 minutes later, it'll count down. And you can't see here, but there you can see it now. It's counting down. It'll be, it takes 15 minutes for a test. So now we're not going to make you wait for 15 minutes because that's like watching paint dry. But I want to emphasize here again, it needs to be set for whole blood because that's what we're doing. So it's got a glare there. Set for whole blood. Standard test. Takes 15 minutes. We've already calibrated the machine to make sure we're in good and uh, we'll get the results in 15 minutes. And what we're looking for is numbers around 3.5 or less is safe to take puppies. So here we go. Okay, we've got test results here. The 50 minutes is up and there it is, 11.03. So she is not, this is what we suspected, that uh, it's got to be less than 3.5, preferably less than 3, means it's safe to take puppies. Not, wouldn't be safe to take puppies now. Uh, this number here does not tell you how close she is. All it says is, is a go, no go test. She could be at 11 or a 15 and be at a three in the morning or a one and a half in the morning. So all we know right now is, is we're not taking puppies tonight. And that's good because we don't want to have an, an emergency C-section. So that's great. Her temperature is 99.3. She's eating food. She's not nesting and panting. And she's chilling out right here. So she's not showing any signs that she's going to go into labor. So that's fine. That's what we want. So we're, we're happy. And, and also nice about the projector on the machine. You kind of feel safe with it. That's exactly right. And yes. You can, you oh, can, so you can sleep good, but leave your door open so you can hear. Them. Yes. So many people make mistakes on this, including mm -hmm. vets. Yeah. So what have we got to take with us? We've got the crate. We've got to have a safe way of getting mum to the vet. So our crate's cleaned up and ready to go. Yeah. We've got our puppy care kit's going to go with us. Tammy's been making sure everything's sterilized and cleaned up. We've got our incubator ready. We've got some hand towels that are going to go inside this for the babies. It's already in there. Okay. Tammy's already got hand towels yeah. in there. Don't put too much in there, but just enough to keep it keep it enough. Um, don't forget your, your a car adapter. That's in our car already. And uh, that's about it. Next video is going to be tomorrow morning. Yeah. Thanks for watching the the video. Uh, I really appreciate people who subscribe to me. It helps me, encourage me to do more of these videos. But do remember, disclaimer here, I am not a vet. I'm not a licensed medical professional. I'm purely a person who's been breeding dogs for the last couple of decades. Any information that you got from this video, use at your own risk. There's nothing implied here. And certainly this is, should not be used as a substitute for advice from your veterinarian or your medical professional. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back for more of them. Bye.